Thomas coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the second part of the TFC Tours Uranos project, that being the F-15 Eagle, who's loosely based off of and inspired by the aerial bot known as Air Raid. As you can see, very nice packaging that we're used to with the TFC figures. Uh, you got the nice kind of metallic hologram sort of thing here. Flip around here on the side, really nice image of Eagle in his robot mode. Uh, the other side just has kind of this CAD image of him. Then on the bottom, the obligatory warnings and things of that nature. This is an adult collectible, so it is designed for people 15 and older. And honestly, at a price point of about $100 for this guy, probably even a little bit higher than that. Because I don't know a lot of 15-year-olds that have just like $100 to throw around. But you never know. Then, coming around to the actual back of him, you see his robot form, his aircraft form, and of course his combiner form. He makes the right leg, typically, of what otherwise would be known as Superion. Absolutely fantastic. They have a couple things right here. You got a Facebook page, you got a website. You can check TFC Toys out there. But beyond that, though, uh, the, the, the packaging is just this standard kind of open face package let you see what you have on the inside here now eagles really already gotten some i don't want to say criticisms but he's already getting a bit of flack because as a 15 eagle he bears a very striking resemblance to a lot of the decepticon seekers and a lot of people have already kind of begun speculating that they're going to reuse this mold in that capacity at some point in time and if they do i, I don't mind it too terribly much i mean air raid was an f-15 eagle which is what starscream was along with Thundercracker and Skywarp. They were F-15 Eagles, so the resemblance is going to be there. So it doesn't bother me all that much. But beyond that, though, there's the uh, packaging for the guy. So let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Eagle open up and out of its packaging. And just like I mentioned in my, my Phantom review, the inside of the, the package sports a really cool image of Eagle itself. You can see Uranus F-15 Eagle and an absolutely awesome looking image of him here. Now, in addition to that, like with all the previously released figures from TFC Toys, they come with this nice kind of tech spec card. You flip around here on the back. You have a strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, rank, courage, fire blast, and skill. And this dude has a really high intelligence. All the way 10. That's actually pretty good. Skill also of 10. Really very cool. But just like with phantom you also get this really nice kind of 8x10 poster sort of thing which is basically this image but in the regular color scheme i suppose i really do honestly wish that instead of this we got that because that i would absolutely frame and put on my wall i think that looks so wickedly cool uh, that's not to say that this isn't very cool i just really prefer that look now coming to the figure itself as you can see the one thing that is different about this is that eagle actually comes with a uh, sort of display stand to allow you to display him in flight mode it's basically just reusing his foot for something but that's actually a really cool thing now it is a uh, slightly posable you can rotate it it can go on an angle like this but it's gonna topple over because this is just too heavy um there there's like i said there's some rotation in it and get that lined up straight uh there is some rotation obviously so you can position it around in circles it can bend up and down uh, on a joint kind of up here so it's really very cool that they incorporate something like that and just gives the display options so much more other than just keeping him in his robot mode because now you can actually put him on something that makes him look like he's flying now to remove that you just spread these little bits out on the side and it seems like they're specifically designed just for that purpose they just rotate out but really very cool set that off to the side and in case you don't want to utilize the stand he does come with uh landing gear which you can peg out there and that's one problem you're going to see a lot of this stuff here and i'll get to it here in a second but a lot of it just seems to flop around a lot but he does have landing gear and they do roll fairly nicely so you do have that as a display option now as, as you're seeing here, one of my biggest complaints, I, I will be totally honest, is that things don't seem to stay together nearly as well on this figure as previously released items from TFC Toys. Uh, the biggest one being this section here, the nose cone. It stays there okay, but it, it you bump it around and it, it seems to pop out. Same thing with these. These don't like staying down really at all. They, they constantly flop up very loose well not really loose they just don't really securely tab into anything all that well so uh, a slight nudge is going to make them pop up and that's a really unfortunate bit but it's it's not 
too bad. But again, as I mentioned in, in my review of Phantom, uh, I, honestly, I hold TFC toys to a very high standard T to me. And you can see I just barely touch it and it pops up. Um, they are, for me, the gold standard when it comes to third-party items. And the Hercules figure, for me, just set that bar. And up to the, this point right here, almost all their figures securely stayed together in a very nice way. Uh, so that's that's one problem that I do have with this. I do absolutely love how it's A1R, what looks like another one, ID. Kind of like Air Raid. Really very cool. And then he's got AF1210 right here on the top. So you got some really cool... <laughs> bits all over him uh, but obviously he is a third party product so you're not going to get some of the things like the autobot logos and things like that but for comparison here he is because i didn't do it with phantom uh, here's the g1 version of air raid and as you can see really nice representation although a lot smaller uh, i do fully expect we'll get some repro label stickers here you got the 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 silver and the red much like this but we probably get a little yellow strip going on in here you got the autobot logos which will probably go here i am really kind of curious to see what they'll do i'm going to get this missile out of the way uh, for these side stickers right on here because there's not a lot of space right up in here for a sticker like that so i'm really kind of curious to see what they'll do but there you go the uh, size comparison here and uh, as i mentioned before there is a lot of comparison between this and the seekers such as starscream thundercracker skywarp those kind of guys and you can see it it's it's because all of those characters including air raid were f15 eagles so it really does make sense. Now, speaking of his accessories, um, well, I, I guess I wasn't really speaking of them, but I bet it took it off. Uh, you can see that there's a couple different places here on the underside of them that you can peg these missiles into. Uh, you have an outer, outer hole, you've got an inner hole, and then you have his fists here. Now, the fists really aren't they don't really show that here and this kind of popped out uh they don't really show it in the instructions but honestly it looks better uh, i mean you can have it out here but i think this far out on the wing looks kind of ugly you can put it here but it, it doesn't really fit because i don't know if i'm going to be able to show you this um because of uh these back bits here they get in the way of the the actual fists and you you can't get it in there very easily so your really only or your your only real option is to put it on the the tips of the wings but you could also put him here on the fist and i kind of noticed that when i'm putting him in his um his limb mode because that's where you have him when you actually have him in his limb mode just to kind of fill things in and honestly i think that looks a little bit better right there uh it gives a little bit more freedom here in the wings you can kind of see that they're they're less crowded and such now but i just kind of I, I like that a little bit more i guess uh i i don't think that the wings with the missiles here on the tip look all that good i guess but I, 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 that's just a personal preference. I mean, you can put them wherever you want. But very accurate. Uh, but it's like I said, there are some problems that I have. The, the biggest problem being these little, I don't even know what you call them, these little side bits. They really do kind of annoy me. Now, he also, well, <laughs> he also has this cone feature that you make sure you split it on the middle because I actually broke mine. Um, I, I was thinking that it detached and like rotated out much like the Masterpiece one. It doesn't. It rotates it, you split it down the middle and then you rotate it out um, these little bits right here when I was trying to pull it this actually broke luckily I was able to fix it but uh, you do want to be careful with that make sure you open it the proper way and then here's the the radar dish thing I, I don't get it I don't there, there's no real reason to have that in there other than just to put it in there I, I appreciate what they were trying to do I just really think that it would have looked better if you kept that out and then you eliminate these little nubs that stick out. It's not too bad because like on the side, it it blends in a little bit better. All you really see is that little gray dot, but it, it's just something that I, I think they could have left out. I appreciate they put it in there, but it's it just is kind of pointless if you ask me. And then the uh, cockpit actually does open, although... Ah, there we go so you can open it and you have a little instrument panel in here kind of where you could probably put a sticker on there repro labels uh, and then you got two seats much like an f-15 would have really very cool i do appreciate that little nod right there just gives it a little bit more realism and i suppose that's what the whole radar dish is for but uh, i just think it's uh, a little um, unnecessary i guess now to transform them we're gonna we're just gonna take these off because i was already having a hard time with them so we're gonna take those off set those off to the side put the landing gear away 
just like so and again the transformation on this is really very simple uh, which is a definitely nice i, I don't want to say homage but keeping it simple is really what the aerial bots kind of were the transformation on those things were really ridiculously simple so just kind of loosen these up pull these out just a little bit because you're going to notice that there's a little tab right here we're trying to yeah, it's hard to see there's a little tab right in here that fits on the inside of the body that honestly you don't want to rotate these wings without pulling them away from the body just a little bit then come around here to these arms pull them off from the side do that on both sides get in there and then rotate these down and you're going to form his arms just like so now these you you can position these in a vast number of ways i'm going for the g1 accurate look so i'm going to keep them really kind of out like this then come down here to the legs first i'm going to split them and then pull them all the way down do that on both sides as well uh, fold out the foot rotate that around like so do that on this side as well um now he he does have this little bit right here uh that you can open these it's kind of hard to do uh actually it's really hard to do much like the the masterpiece figures like with star scream and thundercracker i'm just going to use a little razor blade here just to kind of wedge it in there and you can open that up and there's i don't want to say that there are uh, engines underneath there but you you can see some molded detail underneath there you don't have to keep those out here it's more for um transformation into his limb mode than really anything else then rotate these rotate these up along the body and again these just are uh, pegs they just peg in there but again some really nice molded detail on the leg here especially on the inside i love the fact that they have this silver bit on the inside very very cool um but these like i said these just peg in here um i, I i'm still a little bit on, on the fence with that uh I guess it's a good idea because it allows you to kind of interchange some things and really kind of get things positioned how you want. But other than that, here's his legs. Come up to the top here. And then, like I said, you're going to want to angle these just a little bit. Again, going for G1 accuracy. Bring these down. There's his arms. This section here on tabs. And then these whole things fold back as well. They're, they're separate. And then you can unpeg that and rotate this up. Now, this as you can see very floppy and very loose so what i usually do and i don't know if you're supposed to but you got a, a little section back here that is mostly used just for the articulation here at his hip i just angle that up a little bit and that kind of holds it up like so which for me works out and then the last bit is to just reverse his head or rotate it around and here you have eagle in his uh robot mode now like i said this is more of the uh, the accurate look for him now i'm gonna angle these back just a little bit more um there's there's a lot of different display options honestly and i'm gonna fold these in just to kind of give them that front wing kind of look but here you have them and again a very nice representation of the character although i got him leaning back or leaning for a little bit i really do dig the way that this guy looks and for his accessories uh, he has these that you can have him hold as guns i suppose um i, I know people have complained about the missiles being used as guns it, it doesn't bug me all that much but they're like oh he, he should come with a gun at least i guess but i mean i i think that this works okay and i i don't mind it all that much I do like the little yellow bits right on here, and I know white figure, white weapons, uh, white background, hard to see, I, I, I get it, so uh, I do apologize for that. But overall though, I really do dig the way that this guy looks. The one thing I'll mention is that unlike what they did with Phantom, where they gave him a mouth plate, similar to his actual G1 toy, uh, they did the reverse here with Eagle. They actually gave him a mouth, and if you look, it almost looks like he's smiling, just a little bit. He's got a little smile on there. And I absolutely love it. And again, look at the light piping, guys. That's that's so amazing. TFC Toys knows how to do light piping. And then because they can, they gave this guy booby missiles. <laughs> Which, again, is, is something that I really think that goes better with the, uh, the Seeker concept, I suppose. But it, it's cool that they actually have that. I don't mind it all that much. For a comparison, here you have him next to his G1 self, and this guy is so tiny, he's so cute, little bitty baby. But you can see that there are some similarities, obviously. You got, like, the wings here, I, 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 I suppose. I mean, you could fold that in 
like that that makes it look a little bit better but there there is a, a obvious homage between these two and you can see where there's all these uh, extra stickers and things which i'm really curious to see again what repro labels will do with this guy that'll just really kind of complete the look and then for another comparison here we have him next to the ultra class silver bolt uh, which is just a figure that i brought out previously with phantom and i just wanted to show that comparison again because i still think that this is a wonderful scale and really all all indications right now are saying that the tfc toys version of Sil silver bolt will be about that size for another comparison now if you want to see how you transform this i'm going to save that for when i actually do the full uranus review as i mentioned in phantom i'm not going to put that aspect in here i want to save something for her. but i wanted to show the comparison between legs for hercules and uranus I know a lot of people were kind of concerned about whether or not they're going to be about the same height. And at least from the looks of it here, Uranos is going to be, well, he's going to at least have bigger legs. As you can see, the, the connector bit here, just kind of get this out of the way because that makes it look a little bit taller than it really actually is. Um, there is definitely a size difference here between these two. So while I can't say for certain if Uranos is going to be bigger, his leg right now, so if that's going to bug you, that's something that you need to be concerned about right now because as it's looking, Superion is going to be taller than Devastator. Now much like I had some minor nitpicks in the actual vehicle mode, I do have some here with the actual robot form as well. One of the biggest being, uh, he is fairly back heavy. Uh, as you can see, I did open this up a little bit and I did bend his thruster a little bit just to kind of give him a little bit further back of a heel, just to kind of balance him out a little bit more because otherwise he is a fairly back heavy figure. I mean, he can stand, don't get me wrong, but that's just a minor nitpick I, ha I really kind of have. And then the other being that while he's got the basic same articulation as Phantom, uh, he's got the ball jointed head, the arms here at the shoulders, they rotate, they move in and out they rotate at the bicep they bend at the elbow uh, nothing at the the wrist unfortunately he does rotate at the waist itself so nice articulation there forward and back at the hips in and out as well those that's really kind of stiff he rotates at the uh the upper part of the thigh um again that's a fairly stiff joint and then he bends at the knee uh, and then the feet have a little bit of pivot but the biggest problem is his the, the way that the wings are it's really kind of a, a, a pain in the butt to kind of get him to, to move his arms around. And here, here's my posing skills. Blam. It's really all I have for my posing ability. Uh, so the, the, while, you know, it, it's not bad, it, it's a minor nitpick I have. But I, I do, and, and I really shouldn't even, you know, take any points off. And, I, and I'm not really, because I still really enjoy it. But the way that these wings are just really do kind of hamper some of the, the, the arm movement, I suppose. As you can see, rotating it around, that kind of gets in the way. Uh, the, the biggest problem, I would probably say, would be the stability of him. As you can see, he's kind of actually leaning forward a little there. Uh, just, just keeping him straight up and down. Uh, can be a bit of a pain in the butt to do, but it's it's not impossible. So like I said, it's just a minor nitpick. Now to transform him back first, just rotate the head like so. Stick these arms straight out and then rotate these around just like that. Getting him completely stretched out in terms of his wingspan. Take this, fold this up, that'll clip in. Angle this all the way up. And then you can just push this over his head, kind of hiding everything there. Bring these forward. And uh, if you guys are uh, kind of creative with your transformation, you can see uh, exactly how this guy really could end up looking uh, like a certain seeker, I suppose. It's definitely not uh, out of the realm of possibility with these. So just rotating this down, angling these back, bring these two bits together the legs squish them take this section here rotate this around fold that up do that on the opposite side as well come around here push the thrusters all the way down and you got a really nice kind of silver and black paint job here on these thrusters as well i absolutely love that push that all the way down rotate these bits around take the legs give them a good little just like so that's really tight get that all the way up there Gonna angle these out because we're gonna put the uh, the stand back on there here. So rotate that all the way around. That all came loose when I pushed that in there. Then take these arms, fold these back here at this joint. Get that pushed in as far as you can. 
that'll sort of push all the way in and kind of lock into place along the side. Do that on this side as well. Bend that down. Give that a good push on the side. Kind of locking everything in. Bring these around. And then, like I said, you got on the inside dot bottom section here, there's a little tiny tab that just pushes in. And you can see it closes that off really nicely. Do that on this side as well. Push that in nicely. Rotate these around. Rotate these out. Do that on this side as well. Rotate that out. Kind of keep these as straight as possible, obviously, because a, a jet's going to have kind of straight wing thingies. Pull this down, pop that in there, and here you have him back in his jet mode. Now, again, where you want to put these missiles is really kind of up to you. But as you can see in the image when he was in his leg form, you put him there just because it helps fill things in. Um, so you can put him there again on, on the jet form for the guy. Uh, it just really depends on what you particularly like. I, I prefer it like this. So that really works. Then, like I said, angle this out. Then you're going to put these on an angle like so. Come around here, you got the two little tabs right up in here. Just kind of wedge those in between. And uh, it's it's kind of tricky to do. Here, let me take these off. Might make things a little bit easier at this point in time. Uh, and then you can see that popped out. So ro yeah, rotate these out like so. Bring this section here up. You're gonna tab that in on one side and as you tab that in, you're gonna bring this section down and together as well, spreading things out, push them in there, squeeze it all together, and it's hold, held in there nice and securely. And uh, basically, there you have Eagle back in his jet mode. Now, if you already got the TFC Toys Phantom, obviously you're more than likely gonna be picking up the Eagle figure as well. So whether or not this review is gonna help you at all is probably kind of a mute point because you probably already decided if you're going to get this guy if you haven't decided on picking these up this is actually a very nice figure honestly i prefer this one over the phantom i i don't know why particularly he just feels like a much better figure now much like phantom there are some nitpicks that i did have with this jet mode uh these bits right here not staying down are really kind of giant pains in my butt but honestly that's the only real negative that i have for it enough to really say if that bugs you yeah you might not want to get the figure but I, I mean come on that's just a nitpick the transformation is very simple as an aerial bot transformer sort of figure really should have but one thing i will say about this is that this guy feels like he's much sturdier than phantom did uh, the one exception being these little bits on the inside here um again Unfortunately, mine broke because I tried taking this out like the Masterpiece figures do. So really make sure that you split it down the middle and you can actually have his radar dish. Uh, that's the only real fragile part about the guy and that was the only thing that made me feel nervous. But honestly, it's going to stay just like that and I'm never going to bother showing off the nose cone radar dish. And then when you get to the robot mode, again, very nice looking figure. There are some minor problems that I have as well. The stability form, he, he is kind of back heavy where he does kind of want to lean back, but you can alter the, the way that his feet are and get him to stand with some, some confidence, I suppose. And the articulation is absolutely phenomenal, much like all these figures are. Just the posability is a little bit more limited because of things like the wings here on the back. All those things added up really are not even remotely enough to say that this figure isn't worth picking up. Everything that's good about him really outweighs all those bad things. And I absolutely highly recommend getting this guy. Absolute biggest drawback on this is that these are about $100 to pick up. Now that's going to put off a lot of people. But when you take into consideration, full-on custom versions of combiners go for close to, if not more than $1,000. You're paying about half of that for your own custom version of Superion, as well as all the individual aerial bots. And for me, that price is not bad at all. This guy is in stock right now at online retailers such as Big Bad Toy Store. And if you are interested in picking him up, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS and you can take a look at it for yourself. And I really do hope you guys consider picking it up. Because honestly, this may be the best version that we'll ever get of the aerial bots. Just because I don't think Hasbro would do something like this, to be totally honest. But that's about it, guys. 
So until next time, I want to thank you for tuning in. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomus and follow me on Twitter.com slash And until next time, I'll talk to you later.